Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, we've got a special day today. So in addition to checking out the latest Advent calendar stuff, in addition to discussing what we're going to do for dinner, which today we are going to Popeye's, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but also, as you'll see in a minute, we got it, folks. We got the Palace Herod's collab. The goods have arrived, so we'll take a look at that after the intro. All right, folks, here is today's advent calendar update, folks. Day 13, we opened up this little box right here, and what did we see? Oh yeah, a little table with some goodies on it. Now I assume some of this stuff you can easily tell what it is. Obviously you have a candle there, you have a milk and cookies, and then this thing, I don't know what this is. Is this supposed to be figgy pudding? I'll be honest, I don't even know what figgy pudding is. But it's on this cute little table. So we got these little snacks set out next to the ice hockey rink um, so that our cop and robber can have a little snack in betwixt their rounds of hockey as they negotiate the criminal's release. She's doing pretty good. I think she's actually up over the cop right now. Last I checked the score. All right, folks, that'll do it for today's Advent Calendar Update. All right, folks, it's here. It arrived in this box with the Herod's logo on it, which is actually very cool. They do their own custom shipping boxes. But it's here, folks. If you recall from my earlier vlog on Friday where I got up at 4.55, got onto the Herod's website for the Palace Herod's collab release, and I picked up a couple things. Here's what we picked up. So we picked up the leather card holder. Has Palace and Herod font on one side and Herod's on the other side, which I'm glad they did that as well. So you got both brandings on there. Simple card holder done in this very soft leather. It has two card slots on either side and then a bigger slot in the center. A fantastic little piece that I had to pick up in the green and gold because I picked the hoodie up in the black and gold though they had it in green and gold but i was like green's not a great color on me and i also want to move this somewhere where you can tell that it's actually black see how it's black and gold it has palace in this thick embroidery thick gold embroidery with knight's bridge below it palace in the herod's font it has the gold striping on the sleeves and below the torso and it even has herod's embroidered on the left sleeve as well. I just wanted to hold it briefly in this light so you can see that it is black and gold. For some reason, when I have it laid over here on the table, the lighting just kind of washes it out and almost makes it look like a red or something. But it is absolutely fantastic. It exceeds my expectations, but I love palace hoodies. And I'm always, you know, cognizant of what they're dropping on Fridays. When they decided to do this collab with Harrods, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Because Supreme did their collab with Tiffany & Co. What timing? Palace just a few weeks later uh, unveils this collab. So I had to get the leather card holder in the green and gold because that's obviously the classic Harrods colors. Being in the United States myself... Uh, I've never been to Harrods, but my dad, who's done some defense contracting work for the Air Force, has been to the United Kingdom, and he's picked me up some souvenirs from Harrods in the past. So I am aware of it at the very least, but yeah, very excited. And it was fast, right? I mean, I just or placed the order on uh, Friday, and it's Monday. It's here already. I placed the order on Friday and it's here on Monday. That seems insane, but I absolutely love it, folks. All right, on to the next segment. All right, folks, we got the goods. What did I go with? Sorry, I'm already eating because I couldn't help myself. As I have, it's been so long, I, we got Popeyes. First of all, let's just disclose it right here, right now. We picked up Popeyes for dinner tonight. We're in the truck uh, just because... 
I have to eat in the truck because Popeye's is so far away from me. It's like a 20 minute drive. And especially when it's like after four, like it is now, um, traffic isn't the best. So it just, it takes so long to get there. It would be frozen solid by the time it actually got home. So I had to eat in my truck. I just pulled down the street here to one of my other favorite places to be, Office Depot. <laughs> and I eat in the parking lot. I eat in the pop. I always eat Popeyes in the parking lot of Office Depot all the time. So what did we get? Let's flip it around. So we got a big old box, three piece crispy spicy tenders with a Cajun fries and mashed potatoes. I mean, look, they hook me up all the time. Look at all these fries. Oh my God. Original crispy chicken sandwich as well. But this, I had to try this. This is their new Popeye's mac and cheese. Now I swear, sorry I'm eating. I shouldn't have done that. Plus, uh, for my tenders, this is what I do. The Mardi Gras mustard, folks. Oh my God, it's so good with the spicy tenders. Now I swear, I have not had this yet. Let's flip it around. If you don't like watching people eat, look away. Because I'm going to try this mac and cheese on cam right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is so freaking good. Anyone who knows me knows Golden Corral mac and cheese is my favorite. They have the big, thick, smooth macaroni noodles. I know smooth is a weird adjective, but they're like big and thick, but they just like melt in your mouth noodles in this creamy cheese. This Popeye's Mac is just like that. Holy cow, it's freaking delicious. Now, longtime viewers of the channel will know if you scroll down a ways, I did the Popeye's chicken sandwich review when it first came out. Uh, now this, uh, this mac and cheese is freaking amazing. Okay, I gotta quit recording. I am starving, I'm gonna dive in. Okay, so now I just want to do a little intro to what you're about to hear. It's a little clip I took last night. I think it was actually after midnight, so it still counts for today's vlog. But my house, my neighborhood, is surrounded by farms and trees. So we hear a lot of wildlife, including this pack of coyotes. I know neighbors on the outskirts of the neighborhood have to watch their small pets because they will often see the coyotes venture a little close for comfort, but I thought it was cool last night, right before I went to bed, I heard them. I wasn't paying attention to where my camera was pointing, so I think you just kind of see part of my face, but it's the sound that I think is really cool. Okay, folks, and that'll do it for day 13. Can you believe it? The 13th day of Vlogmas is in the books. We're over halfway there, folks. I can't wait to see what we accomplish over the next week and a half or so. I will do a vlog Christmas Day on the 25th, so we are riding this all the way to the finish line at this point. I feel confident, so thank you as always for watching. I do truly appreciate it, and until next time.